guys, welcome to Simply Trains. Today, we are here in uh, North Conway, New Hampshire, and we are going to be riding on the Conway Scenic Railroad. Um, we are going to be riding on their snow train that goes from here in North Conway, New Hampshire um, to Atatash uh, Ski Resort and back. Um, so without further ado, let's just get started. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, let's go. Okay guys, so we did get a new pin. Today's pin is right here. We got the engine right there, right there. Um, I don't know if you guys could see that, um, but that's um, today's pin. So now let's head back to the video. Okay guys, we are here. Um, I really like this train car. We have like these super pretty painted ceilings. Um, we have a little table here. Um, we can take our masks off because we have a uh, medical grade curtain right next to us. Um, and uh, the seats are super squishy and just nice. Um, and yeah, even the back is nice and squishy and stuff. Um, and like, you know, we have this gigantic window to look out. Um, and it's, you know, it's cold outside, but uh, it's heated in here, so it's nice and warm. And um, yeah, it's just overall pretty great. Um, but uh, I am not going to do my bathroom tour yet. I am going to wait to do my bathroom tour until we are all the way over in um, Atatash because um, this train is gonna be leaving very, very soon. So I'm going to wait until we're in Atatash to do my bathroom review, but um, we should be going pretty soon. So um, I'm just gonna let you guys uh, sit back and relax just like me and we can watch some of the scenery go by. Okay guys, so while we're waiting for the train to get going, I'm going to give you um, a little backstory about um, how this train car got named. 
Um, so this train car got named after a woman named Hattie Evans, um, who was a mother of, I think, about uh, four kids. The reason why I looked up there is because there's a little painting of her four children. Um, and she was married to Mr. Evans, obviously, except he was um, unfortunately killed during a um, train accident because uh, he used to work for the railroad. And um, so he unfortunately passed away, but then um, Hattie, uh, Hattie Evans was left to take care of the four children all on her own. And so um, the kids every day in order to get to school, because um, they lived right next to the train tracks, they would always hop on the freight, the morning freight train and just hop into one of the box cars and take the train to school, which quite frankly, I think would be pretty cool, but that's just me. Um, and so because of her um, courageousness and just uh, powering through all that happened in her life and took care of her children, who then went on to, um, you know, become adults, um, and she just was such an amazing person that they actually named a train car after her. So um, that is the story of how this train car got named the Hattie Evans. Okay guys, so also before we get going, um, this train is made up of uh, one uh, engine up at the front of the train, and then the uh, premium class uh, car named the Ronda Lee, which is a dome car, um, and then there's our car, which is the Hattie Evans, which is the first class parlor or first class dining car. And then behind us is the, like behind us that way, is the um, Carol P. Reed, which is just the first class car. And then the um, car behind that is the coach class um, skiers car. And then behind that is another um, uh, dome car which is um, the lower part is the first class uh, dome car and uh, it's named the Dorothy MA and um, the top part is also a premium class dome part so um, I did uh, cover the upper dome um, in my last video I will link that in my description um, and you can probably hear the guy talking over the intercom so um, I think we're about to get going so let's go
Okay guys, we are now here in Atatash, and I forgot to tell you when we were back at the station, but we do get a little um, menu uh, for ordering food and stuff. I got a um, bag of popcorn, and I tried to order Coke, but they didn't have any, so I had to get a Diet Coke. Um, but now that we're here, I will do my bathroom tour, so I'm just gonna put on my mask here, and then uh, I will head to the bathroom, and I will show you guys um, what they're look like. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is the bathroom. It's um, pretty snug and stuff. It's only probably about um, one yard by one yard. It's about the size of like a square. Um, and we have our hand dryer here. Um, we have our um, sink here. Unlike on my last trip where for some reason it didn't have a sink. We have soap. Um, we have a toilet and I don't know if you guys can see but down here, right there, uh, we use that to flush. And then we have our toilet paper, um, so that's about it. Yeah. Um, so let's head back to our seats. Okay guys, for some reason we're stopped here, um, in like halfway oh, out of the tunnel, I don't know why. Oh. Okay, so they just said over the intercom that uh, they're having a problem with the main engine, so that's why we're stopped. Doesn't sound like a good thing, um, but uh, yeah, but as you could see, um, we were coming around the turn here, and I think the only reason why my... Uh, coke was uh going across the thing is because we're kind of on like a really big tilt here i'm like actually leaning back up against the window because like it's so tilted here like i'm almost like falling over because we're on a very steep tilt so hopefully we get going pretty soon hopefully we aren't like stuck here for hours and hours so hopefully we get going soon but if we don't then uh-oh so um hopefully we're able to uh get going soon but if we aren't then I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if they're gonna have us get off the train or if they're gonna have to have another engine come from the station to come pick us up, but they're having some kind of problem. I'm not entirely sure what it is. They didn't really clarify. They just said they're having a mechanical problem of some kind, I think. But at least we got to stop underneath the only uh, railroad tunnel in the state of New Hampshire. Well, actually they said it wasn't considered necessarily a railroad tunnel. They said it's the closest thing to a railroad tunnel in the state of New Hampshire. So I would just consider it a railroad tunnel. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just wait here until um, they fix the problem. Hopefully they're able to fix it. And if they don't, then I'll bring you guys along and see and show you guys. Oh, we're starting to move again. So I guess they fixed the problem, hopefully. So yeah, we're now uh, leaving the uh, tunnel here. Um, so let's head back to the video.
are now off the train. Um, that was super fun. Um, it was just overall pretty, uh, pretty much a great experience. Um, the food was really uh, tasty. Um, the uh, crewmates, or not the crewmates, but the um, the uh, I don't know the people that were riding on the train and serving us and stuff were all super duper nice. However, how when the um, engine kind of broke down there for a few, that kind of deducted some points from their overall review. So I would have given them a five stars, but because of the engine breaking down, it ha I had to bring it down just to a four and a half stars, which is still pretty good, but it's not as good as a five stars. But overall, it was pretty great. Just that um, thing with the engine breaking down, it wasn't super long of a breakdown, but it still did make a bit of a mark on our time, but not much of one. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I did take pictures of, um, um, I did take pictures on this ride. Um, I will post them on my Instagram and I will put the link in the description for my Instagram. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, don't forget to tune in next time and like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to tune in next time on Simply Trains.